Okay, sorry about that cut there. I was editing the video and I accidentally ended the video at that spot when I meant to cut it out. Oops. But anyway, I skipped the cutscene and then I got this little scene where Raguna kind of hints of maybe something will happen if I plant moondrop flowers here due to the moonlight being so strong. So we're gonna f we're gonna see what happens. Now I will cut out the parts of me coming to water it, I think, because you do have to water the plants every day, because it takes four days for these things to fully grow. And, oops, where is it? Where's those moon drop flowers? Oh, everybody knows, I think we already know who I am. This is kind of continuing from where I left, from where I last, uh, commentated. But I will say this, it's, uh... March the 10th, it's 7.43 p.m., and, uh, whenever I, whatever, whichever I, whichever, whichever day I post the commentary from last video, well, this one's a different day. Post commentary is going to be a little weird, because, I mean, by the time I finish this game, who knows, the summer vacation may either have started or ended and my, with my post commentary in it, though. No, I'm just playing. I'm, I'm, it shouldn't take me that long, unless I get really lazy or really busy. Ooh, flower. I could use that. <coughs> Oh boy, I feel like I have, I have the urge to fight that wolf again. With all the energy and stamina I have, uh, I gotta burn it off. Come on, wolf. You missed me. I missed him. You missed me again. <coughs> oh, I hate that wolf. Oh my goodness, that hurt. That hurt too. Hold still. Gotcha. Finally got my revenge. Mm, that's not as much as I thought it would be, but I'll take it. Well, I finally beat that wolf, but was it worth it? Not really. But I just had to after all those days he's been KOing me. <laughs> oh, I forgot. Okay, okay. Hold on. Another bad Pac-Man death, death noise. Yeah, using the sickle on those wolves is not a good idea. I really should just get a sword or use magic on them. Because if I spin around after they jump and I get too close, even though they're not quite touching me, their attack animation can still hurt me, and that's what keeps killing me. Well, that sucked. I got KO'd again by those wolves, but hey, I got revenge in the end, which... Don't get revenge, because, this, because it, never, it will never satisfy you. Well, let me just drink this cold medicine. And, well, time to go back to whatever we're used to doing, which is watering our crops and such. But hey, we're almost done with summer. Uh, hey, we're almost done with spring. Because it's the 18th, and this game goes up to about day 30, I believe. 30 is the last day of each season in this game. Surprisingly, there is no 31st, so once it hits 30 on the 30th day, be ready for the next season, which in this case is summer. Oh boy, I have a lot of crops here. Trust me, if you're watching this video, don't worry about growing all these crops. Like I said, I'm just money hungry right now, because I really want to get a lot of stuff done. And I probably said this before, but... This is, the, but I'm repeating myself because again, you don't need to follow the exact steps. You just need to earn enough money to get everything you want done. Because in the few, because later in this game, it'll be cake of what you need to do. Like you don't have, to, you can grind more than just grow crops. You can, uh, you know, you can focus more on girls instead of, you know, on the story. But you know, getting all this done will allow me to choose, like, have like a very narrow decision, such as, you know which to focus on the main story or on the bachelorettes. And I missed a neck because I passed out, so darn it. <coughs> Alrighty. And we're gonna and I'm gonna pick up some strawberries. So let me see let's so let's see what to talk about. Um well, I've looked at a few Twilight Princess videos, and I'm pretty. It's pretty nice of how it looks. The graphics look better. People say that it, that the whole grayish thing has been removed. It's been fixed. 
Um, I did. It's it. It's really nice to see that they remastered that game. I really, I really do like uh, Twilight Princess. But as funny as this is gonna sound, I never owned the Wii game. I've only owned the GameCube. Because the only difference with the Wii game is that you have to, you could swing the uh, Wii U remote to swing the Wii U remote so that Link will swing his sword, I think. And they also made Link right-handed in the Wii version because people are usually right-handed with the re Wii remote. It's kind of like how they did with Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, where they made Link right-handed when he's left-handed. But they did that, you know, so you could use the uh, Wii remote. Which I still haven't beaten yet. I, st I have to try to get myself to beat Skyward Sword someday. Whoa! I remember seeing this monster on Will Island. Did it come all the way here? Jeez. So that little purple elephant thing, how did it get down here in the first place? Because how did it, can it fly or float? Because I mean, do you know how high Whale Island is from Trampoli Village? Unless it could climb that, climb down that vine all by itself or slide down or even run like Sonic. I question how that thing got down though. Maybe those big, maybe those big elephant ears uh, saved it. Or maybe it doesn't, or maybe falling to the ground doesn't hurt it. Or maybe it's in a connection with the character Dumbo. <laughs> you know, the elephant that could fly. <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, Twilight Princess is actually a pretty interesting game. There are some parts of it I, I don't recognize a, a bit, though, because I didn't... I never 100%... <clears throat> I am so sorry, my my voice is very dry right now. I, don't, I guess I woke up recently about eh, roughly half an hour ago, so I'm a little dry in the throat right now. But anyway, um, th uh, I never 100% at Twilight Princess. In fact, I don't think I've ever 100% at a Zelda game. I mean, I want to, but I never did. Like. When I was, I'm thinking about getting uh, Wind Waker, and I may 100% that, along with, um, along with trying to play Hero Mode and 100%ing it. Yes, I'll be dying a lot, but that's okay. And of course, with Twilight Princess, I may do that as well, play Hero Mode and 100% it, because I've never 100%ed Twilight Princess at all. I've only beaten it. I think I did try to find everything, but got bored in the end. And I just kept fooling around too, because you know. I was only interested in being in the game as a back then when I was a kid. Ah, Zelda, Legend of Zelda. It's never. Oh, I just realized I'm, I'm running out of health. I may have to eat a berry jam. Yeah, because by the time I reach this or the next path, it's going to it's going to be uh, <coughs> it's going to be serious or or cautious. Oh, there. All right, I drank the energy drink. I drank the energy. I drank the energy drink. <laughs> Sound like Tweety Bird just now. All right, now I can leave. Later, I'm gonna be growing more crops further ahead. But again, that's when I have more. <laughs> My nose. Come on. That's when I'm gonna have more money. And also, don't forget, I still have to fight the boss of this dungeon. But I just don't know when I want to fight the boss. But for now, hopefully, it'll be on a, a day that's good. Because if I find him on a bad day, that'll be bad. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, eat a berry jam, and I have to make more just so I can keep my uh, room, room point stamina up. And it's almost, and, Be and Melody's bathhouse is almost uh, open. So I can go and heal if I need to. <coughs> Alright, let's see. Hey, Candy. Marco. Marco! Polo. Oh. Someone's up here. Is it Melody? Nope. Uzuki and Hi. Cinnamon. I'm sleepy every day. Why? Are you, are you either tired or just bored? Well, are the fish biting? So-so. Okay. <laughs> what? Is there a spider on my face? Do you want to fish too? I've had this for a long time. If you like, you can have it. Oh! Thanks! 
how do you use this anyway? You have to first equip the fishing pole and stand in front of the water, then press the A button to reel. Yeah, it's a, I already explained it. Yeah, it's pretty much like with the cooking, but a little different. And we already talked. To, we already know Uzaki is gonna just say, uh, "The fish are not biting," or "How do you fare?" etc. But hey, I got my. Now here's the thing: it's, she calls it a fishing rod, but the game calls it a cheat pole. That's kind of funny. It's supposed to be a fishing rod, but all, they don't call it a cheap fishing pole. They call it a cheap pole, which is odd. All right. Oh, I skipped my house. I must be. Oh, okay. I, I must be. Wait, why did I skip my house? Am I gonna buy more seeds again? Yep. I'm gonna go buy more seeds. I think I know what I'm gonna get though, because I bought cucumbers. So I'm probably going to buy potato hey, seeds and cabbage seeds. Because I'm thinking about taking. Or very, I think one potato, one cabbage, and two yeah, turnips, I like? think. Or am I gonna buy, no, I'm gonna get fodder. We don't need cherry. Let's see. I think I'm gonna buy two feeds or fodder seed. No. Yeah, okay, I remember. I buy two fodder seeds because for some odd reason, due to that elephant being inside of my barn, I thought for a second you had to feed it, but here's the thing, that purple elephant inside of your monster barn, you don't have to feed it. I for some reason forgot, thought though that he, that you did need to feed it because you needed this animal in order to make specific bachelorette stay, but like I said, that's for later. Um, and here's the thing too, I was going to put this in the barn real quick, but here's the problem. Every time I do this, Raguna puts it down. And you want to know how you're supposed to put it in? You're supposed to examine it. And then Raguna will will think to himself, maybe I should put more fodder in. And then you put you select put in the fodder, and then he puts it in. You don't put it in manually. And I did not know that till much later in the video. And plus two, what I did was a waste of money and time. You don't need to feed this animal. This purple elephant animal is just going to stay there, you know, for whatever. See, look, it says, no monsters. Even though that elf, that monster is in my barn, he does not count as your actual monster. So he's like just a guest monster, if you want to call it that. But you don't have to feed it. So if you if you build one and he appears, don't worry about feeding him. It's all about what monsters you you uh, bring. Not about, not what, not about, uh, what, it's not about that monster. So you don't need to worry about being evil or neglecting monsters, because you don't want to do that. All right, and plus, so I'm already growing, growing. Oh my goodness, growing fodder. <laughs> so the minute I start growing fodder and it, and I have enough, I'll probably I'll start getting monsters. All right, now it's time for us to do some foraging. Since we have a fishing rod or cheat pole, we're going to forge it after I take care of some berry jams, in which I forgot to edit again. Stupid movie maker. All right, there we go. As you can see, I had tw I had a quite I cooked a lot of uh, berry jams. I have 28 now because I had to use one, but I finally was able to cut that part out. And I'm gonna uh, cook one more because I had to use one just to heal. Berry jam. Let me see. And I also. You probably noticed too that my level was up for a little, for, for quite some. I leveled up in quite, in quite with cooking as well. <coughs> like I said, it's very, it's very useful for when you're grinding. Oh, and I was trying to see if I could make better equip, better accessories. Uh, I haven't really gotten anything new, so there's no point. All right, let's make, the, let's forge the uh, starter pole. That's the uh, next level of fishing rod. And I think the uh as you make your weapons and tools better you get you get more you get better product. And I think it also helps uh consume less ruin points as well. Yeah, see like you see where it says RP use. 
Yeah, see. You see all those scrap irons? When you upgrade your forge and you pick up all those scrap iron, you can easily just keep spamming. Not, I'm sorry, not spamming. You can easily keep remaking the same weapon to raise your level with forging. And you want to do that because in order for you to make better weapons, you have to get a specific level or at least close to it. So if you want to... So your best option is you could go in a dungeon and keep looking for scrap iron, and then just keep making this, and just keep repeating and making the same weapon over and over to level yourself up. But just know it's very boring and very irritating to pull off. Trust me, I tried that. Like there's a lot of cool weapons I wanted to get, and oh, I want oh, it's almost five in the game, so I have to put some items. I have to ship off some items. Look how much money I'm getting just for putting all that in. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're gonna, okay, yeah, put the weeds in here. Uh, I want to keep those. Uh, no, I'm gonna keep the magic rod. Alright, we'll just leave those in. I'm not gonna get a lot, but I don't want to, I need, the items I have now, I need those, so. Wait. I forgot something. I forgot to forge my fishing rod, or starter pole. Oh boy, hold on. Here it is. Cheat pole, and... I need to take out iron. One thing I find funny is, if you have iron or scrap metal or anything that you need, but it's not in your bag, you're thinking you didn't get it when you did, you just had it stored away. It's kind of funny. In some games, you know, if you have it stored in your house, you're, it's, the game already knows you have it and just saves you the trouble. But in this one, you have to have it with you. Look how much RP use it does. It does 26, though. But I think as you level as you level up, though, it, or skill up, it gets better. Oops. Ooh, that was my fault. I did it. I messed up. I messed that up big time. I, I pushed it way too early. Thankfully, I still have my uh, stuff. You know, that's also another thing you could probably do. You could fail on purpose and then just keep... I don't know. Just be careful when you fail in cooking. Because if you fail in cooking, you make a uh, burned up food. Which I forgot what they call it. But it's a... You don't, you don't recover anything. But you don't get sick either. Yeah, I guess that's another thing. You could purposely fail on making that e uh, equipment and then just keep, you know, and then just keep working until you get enough uh, experience instead of using the same thing over and over. I don't know. Your choice. And we are going to take another bath. And Raguna, so help me if you if you start being a pervert by by falling for whatever they see on the other side. I mean, seriously, why would you think? I, I think I oh yeah, I gave Melody. Uh, I think I already gave Melody Melody a orange grass because but I cut that part out so you don't need to see that again. Because I think she was at the she does go to the beach early sometimes before she opens her bathhouse. So. If, if you don't see me give her anything, that's probably why. But trust me, this does somewhat help raise her. And I was running into nothing just now. <laughs> Raguna, you and your crazy moments. Alright. So first I have to go water the moondrop flowers. And then I'm going to show you how to fish. And believe me, next to both this, the berry jam and the fishing are going to really help you earn money. But just know though that it is time consuming a bit, and only do this after you're done with everything, because you'll waste, you, you you know, you'll waste time and energy, <laughs> you'll, uh, ah, sweet, I edited that part out, okay. So yeah, I edited that part out of me going to water the moondrop flowers, because like I said, plus you have to look at that cutscene again. And like I said, that cutscene where that girl watering the, crop, the plants will always activate until you trigger something. Alrighty, so let's let me go and show you how to fish. Is it hard? Not quite. It's just a little hard to get it on green. If you get the green, you'll catch a bigger and better fish. And just like when you make weapons or cook, the green one means that the item is more 
it's it's been it's been cooked, craft, or whatever to the expertise, meaning the price of it is higher than the original. So we take our starter pole, and because I upgraded it, we're gonna use our special to help catch different fish. And as you can see, you have to push A to stop the cruiser and make it land on either the blue or green. And as you can see, as a start, it's on. It, the red is pretty high, but I think as you work with it, it starts to shrink a bit. I think I don't remember. And the grain is pretty small too, but I think that's because the fishing pole or the starter pole isn't all that good. But it's it's a good start. You could use. I've never used the. I don't remember using the cheap pole, but oh shoot, it got away. But yeah, this is a good way to grind for money because you can um. Oh yes. Yes, I caught a snapper. That's a good thing. That snapper is very. I got another one. Oh shoot! And it's level four. Perfect. Lady Luck is looking is smiling on me today. Okay. Those snappers are very, very. I don't know. I don't want to say they're rare, but they're very useful. And they're very good with, they're very, oh boy, they're good for cooking a certain type of food that would help get you a lot of HP and ruin points back, as well as they would give you a very good amount of money after you cook them. You can also, you can make a, there are two types of ways you can cook fish, and that's by turning them into, uh, t you can cook them into fish soup or sashimi. Also too, I forgot to mention, uh, the two girls that we met a second early in this game, Uzuki and Cinnamon. They both eat fish. They both love fishing and fish. So if you want to get their attention, um, or if you want to love them, you can just give them fish every day. Uzuki will take, I think, any fish if I said or said so earlier, or sashimi. And I think cinnamon says the same thing. But the difference with cinnamon is that you can give her another item which she loves more than fish. While Uzuki, I don't remember what she loves. Because, I mean, Uzuki's one of those Japanese type of warriors, and I don't recall, I do know that Japanese warriors eat certain, well, I don't know about Japanese, but, but you know, she's that type of warrior, like, she looks like a priest, I, I wouldn't say a priestess, but the, her outfit does kind of make you think she's somewhat like a priestess with a warrior outfit, or I should say like a Valkyrie type of outfit. Not Valkyrie Profile or Valkyrie Chronicles, but the word Valkyrie, which means fighting maiden. So, and it's kind of like, her style looks like it's Japanese. Like, she lives in a village where you would have, like, samurai, ninjas, etc. <sighs> Alright. It's now the 19th. And it's the holiday. So I can't visit Will Island today. Ah, that means I can't water the Moondrop flowers because Will Island's on is over at the other is where the was where Lake Polly is, and there's no way to get there right now. So unfortunately, uh, I have to skip. I have to skip watering the crops, and I did not pay attention to how much. There we go. You do not need to see me water those crops again. So let's see. We're gonna go and talk to Loot, of course, because after watering everything here. Oops, I forgot to Well, whatever. Hey, it's better than it's better than you watching me water everything all the way. Did I water them? Yes I did. I they, I see the dark brown. Alrighty, so let's see. If I recall, um I think what I'm gonna get for Luke is I believe a well You'll see for yourself. There's no need to spoil it. So let's see what to talk about before what before we reach loot. Um, eight more days. The three amiibos, the Japanese Rob slash Famicom Rob, Roy and Ryu amiibos come out. I know a lot of you are excited about that. Um, then after that, that just leaves the three extra, the three ones, Bayonet, Cor and B Cloud, Corrin, and Bayonetta. And then after that, Smash is a fit. Well, Smash was already done, but then there'll be nothing left for Smash. People like 
I did say a little bit they are said that Smash is done, but I mean Smash is good. They said they did launch they're gonna make you know Smash a launch on Nintendo NX and I'm curious to see what Reg and everyone's gonna say uh, when uh, they go to the direct this summer and talk about Nintendo NX. They didn't talk about it last year. They talked about it this year Or they're about they're hopefully gonna talk about it this year and people are wondering how is the Zelda Wii U going to be the new Zelda Wii U because it was pushed to this year instead of last year I think All right, here we go. Oh, uh, oh. Okay, Rosetta Loot. How do you guys how are you guys just staying there and you you don't hear that noise? Thank you. They probably don't hear it or maybe they don't care. Good morning. That's it. I thought you were going to say something like, "Wow, you're raggedy today." What would you like to buy? Well, let's see what you got. Oh, I have 8,244 gold. Gold, or gold. Mmm. I want to get the seed. You know what? I'm getting it. Let's get the seed maker. And you want to know why I'm getting the seed maker? This seed maker is going to help me a lot. It's going to help me save a lot of money. Or I wouldn't say a lot of money. It'll help me save money. Yes, I'll take it. It took a lot of money out of me, though. But let's see what else I can get. What would you like? Uh, let's see, furniture. Oh, I could have bought the mini fridge. I don't think. Actually, I don't think I could because I don't think there's enough room. No, I couldn't because there's not enough room. Can't buy the great kitchen. Can't buy the great forge. I could buy the handy laboratory. Uh, cause that one I don't have to upgrade. And I decided to buy it. Cause why not? Uh, because that way, if I ever catch a cold, I can always just make cold me make cold medicine instead of buying it. Because you know, it costs uh, 80 gold in uh, if you buy it from Laura, but it's 100 if you ask her for it or ask her to heal you. Let me see. Is there anything else I could get? Not from here, no. And plus, too, I have to upgrade my house to get the forge or lab storage I think. That's a lot of money. Oh. Actually, I can't buy any of these. Your house is a bit too small, and he's right. And then, if, if I try to buy the great pan, it's gotta be a brand spanking new kitchen. <laughs> and I am not gonna buy any of these makers just yet, because I don't need them. Alright, so I just buy one thing from him, and that's the seed maker. Yeah, I... Thanks for yeah, the just, business. Thank you for the bit. Thank you for your business. Alright, so I got the seed maker. That's a good stuff. Well, the seed maker and the handy laboratory. Seed maker will help me a lot, because in case you're wondering what that does, you just have to take one crop and, push, and put it inside of the seed maker. It doesn't... Well... Any crop except for the fodder, of course. I don't know if you can put fodder in there. I don't think you can. I never tried it. But you can put any seed in there. Oh, hey, Uzuki. Hey, Eunice. You know what? Let's give, uh... Oh, by the way, do not give Eunice fish. She does not like fish. She hates it. Never give her fish. She does not like it. Is that for me? You knew that I am partial to fish. Yeah, see what I mean? I Uzuki likes you. fish. Eunice likes sweets, and I believe any vegetables, I believe. Oh, I thought your uh, partner, or what you called up there, was going to yell at me, but you didn't say anything. Here you go, Eunice. Is this for me? Thank you. I've given you a strawberry before. Why do you act like it's such a surprise, Eunice? We have such nice See, she loves sweets. So don't be afraid to give both her and Laura sweets. And by the way, if you, I couldn't afford, I couldn't buy any of the ovens or what, well actually I already, I already showed that. I couldn't buy any like the blender or the oven or anything because my house was too small. Oh, I forgot something, didn't I? Yeah, we're going to go this way. 
Um, I can't remember what I what I was about to do, but all I know is that. Anyways, going back to the seed maker because I'm getting I'm I almost forgot what I was talking about earlier, and I don't want to forget again. The seed maker allows you to put a crop inside of that of the machine, and then you and you automatically get a seed. And when you get a seed, nice remember once one crop seed fills up nine squares. So that means if you grew like 27 turnips and you put three out of the 27, if you put uh, three out of the 27 you put in, you're going to get 27 more after a few days. It's so with so the price good. of three, you'll get 27 more. Melody, so you run a that oh. Why do you dress like a wizard? Listen to this. Oh this. Oh this. I well, I actually want to, want to become, become a wizard. A wizard can't be a wizard, Melody. You're a girl. I really like this outfit. I, really like this outfit. Yeah, I have a lot of them with the same, the same design. design. Yeah, I thought when it comes to mag uh, magical... Well, actually, she doesn't quite explain it, but she explains a little later of her history why she's wearing a wizard outfit. Because, I mean, she looks okay in it, but wizards are supposed to be males. I mean, I know for females there's sorcery, I think. I think. I don't know. It's like saying a male who's riding a broomstick is a witch, but witches are females, and usually males are supposed to be what wizards or sorcery. And she's a girl, and she calls herself she wants to be a witch. She wants <laughs> she's she is a girl, and she says she wants to be a sort a wizard. Uh, she could be a sorcery or a magician or something, but wizard is what you call a male magic person, not a not a female. Yeah, I was trying to see if that beanstalk was here. It's not. I don't remember when it actually appears. Yeah, see, look, there's Well Island right there. You can't, um... Well Island always appears on on this spot during the holiday. And also, when you do climb up there after watering the beanstalk, you're going to appear on the Well Island's fin where the tower is, where that girl is. So, um, yeah, that's why you can't visit what Island during holiday, because it's moved from that spot to this spot. And I decided that I'm going to knock down some cherries, because why not? And we'll use the iron hammer. We don't need to use the battle hammer. I'm not going to take them all, though, but I do want to uh, give a gift to someone. Because I don't really know what kind of gifts to give her, but I thought cherries would be good because it looks red to her. You'll see what I mean later, in about a few days. Two days to be exact. Alright, that's enough. We don't need any more cherries. <coughs> Teleporting back home! I almost said my favorite word on uh, Resident Evil. Speaking of Resident Evil 6, you do know that my friend Eternal Unique and I did a co uh, did a co-op on it. We're going to hopefully finish it in the future, but um, there are a lot of things that I said in that video, like teleportation activate. You should check out their channel too. She, her boyfriend, Massively Adventures, and others of the LPR League. You know, they make very nice videos. But um, sometimes, sometimes I like to use my. <laughs> Oh my goodness, no. Sometimes, um... Okay, I'm having a brain fart. Ugh. Darn it, I lost a thought. Oh. On Resident Evil 6, I always said, uh... Teleportation activate, because I was playing as the ghost... Not the ghost. I was playing as the agent. Oh, watch this. This is what I mean. Uh, you put in... One turn up in here. And you automatically get the seed. You get the seed for it. And what's cool about this is that you don't have to pay Eric money to get more seeds. So you can save money doing this. But anyway, um, when every time we were, would, you know, play the co-op game, weird things would always happen. And I always used to say, uh, it's bad luck, or, <laughs> or it's it's not me. It's the game, or it's because the game knows who we are. It's kind of funny because it's true. The game knows who we are and it trolls us. <laughs> Don't worry, someday we'll finish that game, but for now we're, we're, we're way too busy. Like, really busy. And also, I think she did say in the future 
there are some other games she wants to resume or finish up, but don't, but don't kind of, but you know, I don't know when yet, so don't count on it being soon, because it won't be. Okay, um, I got, I guess you could say I just gave a shout out to Eternity and, and her friends, including Matt, Matt's up here adventures, but, Yeah. See, I'm having a lot of brain farts right now. Like, when I have something on my mind, it's like, like, boop. It's like you, you talk about something else, and, and then all of a sudden it's like it's gone. It's like, I knew I was talking about something else. Now I forgot. Great. Anyway, this, this is what's so cool here. By cooking the snapper, I made fish soup. Look, I'm already on level 25 with cooking. That's crazy. Oh, darn it. I messed that up. But yeah, you can make squish, you can make sashimi, and I gotta remember which one is the one I messed up on. Cause one thing is, if you make an expertise, I think it's this one, cause the other one was 960, so. So the difference between when you catch and cook something that's green, that was on the green one, and the one that was, you know, blue. Uh, one is higher, and the other, one has is higher with a few, uh, special effects. Well, the other one is a bit lower with just normal stats or something. So you can tell which is expertise and which is normal. Okay, curry rice. Look how much HP it restores and, and ruin points. I know where to find curry powder. And I do know where to find rice. Well, I think I know where to... F yeah. I know where to find curry powder, where to find rice. And then I need, like, carrots. Or not carrots, but... Like other foods, which I can't make until like later in the season. But once I start grinding off of those foods, I will be able to make infinite amount of curry, curry, and those things give you a lot of boosts, like a lot of status boosts. Boosts. Boost. They'll help you a lot. So trust me, this is why you see me doing a lot of money grinding, as well as doing growing a lot of crops. Because it'll help you make very good amount of food. Very, because I mean, you can always just wait, but if you want to kind of speed things up a bit, that's one way to do it. But it's very time consuming. And of course, I don't edit this part out because I wanted you guys to see for yourself, but I will edit it out later in the video, later in the future videos. But yeah, the berry jam, fish, and, uh,. And others, you can just cook them, and either give them to keep them for yourself to recover, give them to the girls if they like it, or just sell them for money. Very, very cool to do. This is something I can't. I came up with when I played this game blind, because once upon a time when I played this on, by myself, I had to use the. I used the internet. Uh, I was looking at a person named Wishing to Cold's video. But the funny thing is she never finished it, at least I don't think she, I don't know if she finished it yet, but quite a few people have never actually shown the full play, gameplay of this game. Because I mean, they show cutscenes and all, but I mean, I've never seen anyone actually finish this game. And I know for the fact it's because of the Roonies, but, you know, I've, ne I've never seen anyone ever try to complete this with, with a full walkthrough. That's why I'm making this, because it's the same thing with Harvest Moon Trio Tranquility. Um, I've never seen anyone finish that game. Like, when I looked it up, I, I saw some people, like, reach the end, but they were single, and they didn't show too much, I think. Like, they didn't show the rival events, they didn't show off, uh, you know, anything you need to help find certain items, blah, blah, blah. Or at least, I don't know, I didn't see all of it, just, like, I was just wondering if anyone ever finished it, and they didn't. One person, I think, I think almost finished it, but... I don't think he ever finished. Actually, no, he didn't. No, he didn't finish it. So I just decided to make it up, make a walkthrough of my own without commentary because I wasn't good at talking, which I'm still working on, by the way. So, hey, but at least I finished that game. Don't think about ask. Don't even think about asking. Are you gonna do Animal Parade? I could, but won't because uh, Animal Parade is already is already done, and, and people like that one more than Trio Tranquility. Not saying that Trio Tranquility is bad. But people have already finished that game. Um, and I still have to finish it myself, because I have three files on there. One 
where my character is married to Renee, and I'm pretty far on it. Two, uh, I'm trying to get close to the Witch Princess, as well as activate all the other rival events, or get the rivals married. The third one, I was stuck between choosing I was stuck between choosing Maya, Candace, and uh, Luna. Cause funny thing is on Tree of Tranquility I got together my character got together with um Luna uh Cand actually Well actually I haven't gotten them actually no not Candace, um Maya, that's her name. Yeah, she got close to, like, Maya and what's her name, um, I actually erased over my recording file, though, because I didn't really, I'm not into, I'm not really into Kathy, Kathy's okay, but not really my taste or style, I'm not saying she's bad, because Kathy's a cool character, but, um, I actually erased over that file, because I wanted my character to be with Maya and Candace, one file I'm with Maya, and the other one I have to be with Candace, but I've been too lazy to play that game. Cause I guess there's a lot there's it's easy to get Candace's attention, but I just don't feel like playing that game. And it goes the same with Animal Parade. Um my characters together with Luna and Renee. I know I've already been with Luna, but as we all know, Luna looks really small and weird in the Trio Tranquility. While at least in Animal Parade she's at the same height as everyone everyone else. Even though she is somewhat still a childlike character, which I guess people like, because anime child anime like girls get a lot of people's attention. <laughs> uh anime. A random a random thing that Japan came out with that's so popular. And the graphics are good too. Alright. Actually I can't actually I sell the squid the way it is, but you can actually um cook it, but I don't think I could have cooked it yet because I needed to chop them up, but blech. Here's the thing, I didn't know that I are, that I had the uh, chopping or dinner set, because if you try to sell the fish the way they are, yeah, you're not going to get as much money, but if you chop them either into sashimi or put them in fish soup, you actually get more money, but I didn't know that I had the, uh, that I had the diner or dinner thing to chop them up, because I was not paying attention, because you get that automatically when you buy the kitchen set, so you have something to cook, you know, so you have something to cook before you buy the other utensils. Still though, I, I just wonder, where in the world is Candy? Jeez. I, I just can't seem to find her. I got cin Cinnamon finally gave me the fishing for cheap rod. But I can't find Candy, and I need- And Candy's supposed to give me something that'll help me later in the game. Thank you, I love it. Yeah, I hope this gives you a stomach ache, Mist. Cause you're giving me a headache. <laughs> uh, I'm almost, I'm, 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 I'm almost at the point where I have to, where the post commentary ends here. But I'm gonna keep going because uh, there's two more videos that I have to post commentary for this game after this. And there's one video that I'm gonna post commentary that's, that's you could say that is a bit special. I guess a bit special, but that'll be for either tomorrow or someday in the future. Alrighty, so... Yeah, see, no candy. I thought Candy and Marco would be here. Candy, where did you go, little girl? Why? And we do more fishing. Of course, I'm... Oh, I'm trying to think. Is Melody open on holidays? I can't remember. I feel like she isn't. But I think I go check anyway. But I think on holidays, no one really works. Except for Rosetta, who goes, who goes out to... Who goes out to um, pick up your items, even if you're, you know, pick up your items at five, even though it's supposed to be a holiday, because you know you. Ooh, bonito fish. Well, one way to find out. Let's go see if Melody's open. Because it's just a bathhouse, and it's past three. If she's not, I may have to just go to sleep and then just go in the wake up the next day. What the? Candy, ha ha! Help you today. You finally found me, you noob. I hate you, Candy. I hate you so much. How may I help? How may I help you, noob? Stop calling me that. 
Wow, ruin wonders are in short miracles that are caused by runies. Blah 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 blah. Whatever. Okay, I'll let you guys read it. This is the reason I had to find candy. search for her every day and then she just appears out of nowhere I just went to the beach to go fishing and she's like ha ha we we made you we made you wait Ooh, I'll make sure she eats a sour head and burns her tongue okay no I'm, I'm not gonna I, I don't want that happening to candy I don't hate candy that was just a random me I don't hate her I just had bad luck of catching people at the wrong time so don't don't hate me for hating candy. I'm just being random. I like candy. She's a cute character. And she does appear on another she does actually appear in Rune Factory Ties of Destiny as a special guest character. But you wanna know something weird? And I don't know if they fixed this. Because in the Japanese version, wasn't Candy an adult or taller, but in the English they shrunk her? Or did they just shrink her back to being a kid again? Because I don't know if the timeline between this and Ties of Destiny are the same. But in a different area, or if they're... Oh, she is working. Sweet. Or if it's like a year or so later. Because I don't know that... I don't know if there's a difference. I can use the herbs to make men yeah, sure. Hi. The weather feels so nice. Welcome. The weather feels so That's nice. Oh, joy for you. <laughs> Actually, we're, we're about to I'm about to end this video right here guys. I hope you enjoy this and see you in the next part